All right, it's time for a retest of our high-speed cables, high and low-speed. Uh, we're going to we updated the firmware in our Denon 4700H, so we're going to try the same test I did before. This time we're going to be a little more careful. We're going to turn the power off in between plugging and unplugging the cables to eliminate that as an issue, which someone brought up in the comments. So, so first we need to I want to verify what version we've got. So I've got the TV set to HDMI 2, that's the uh, eARC port. So we're going to use the setup button. On the and I've had a lot of problems with this setup coming through. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Okay, finally came up. All right, so we're going to go to, I think it's under general. Let's see what firmware, yeah. Let's see what firmware version we've got. Check for update. Let's see. Okay, maybe that'll tell us what we've got. Oh, there's another update. All right, so we're going to update this again. Update now. It'll turn off. Okay. All right, so we're updating the firmware again, and then we'll see what happens. All right, it's done. So let's figure out if we can get the setup back up here. Last time I used the arrow keys and then it came up. Let's see if that does anything. That was just a coincidence, I guess. Up oh, there it is. Maybe it just takes a while to sync. All right, so now let's see if we can find out what the actual firmware is. Let's see. Information, let's try that. Firmware information. All right, so here's our firmware. Uh, not sure what no that number means, but uh, uh, I'll have to find out when that actually came out. All right, so there's our new firmware. So now we're going to retry the tests one at a time. I turn the power off in between each cable. Here are four cables. Here's the Zest Kit 8K. That's one we've been using with no problems. Uh, here's the Monoprice 4K. Here's the uh, Amazon Basics 4K. It's high speed internet is 4K. And then here's a generic, <coughs> probably 1.4 HDMI cable. So we're going to try, we'll try them in this order this, one, two, three, four. And we're going to power off in between each one. Okay, to power off between each printer, of each uh, cable, we're going to push this button off. Actually, it's in standby, so I guess we need to unplug it. Let's unplug it every time. Just <laughs> there's no excuses. Gonna unplug it. So now the power's off. Count to 10 and plug it back in, and then we'll test the first cable. All right, just to reiterate for people that didn't watch the other video, we've got the first cable is the Zest Kit. It's plugged into the eARC port over here, and then the 8K input port here. That's how you do the testing. So all, all the cables are going to be plugged in this way. All right. All right. So we turned it on. We're going to go into HDMI diagnostic or diagnostic mode. Yeah, HDMI by pressing the back button and this outer silver circle. It goes into HDMI diagnostics. And doing a hardware check, yeah. All right, so now we want cable test number four. So we're gonna try that. This is with the Zest Kit now. Connect the cable. Yep, did that. And start. All right, it passed. It passed the 8K. That's great. <laughs> All right, so that's a good, good first test. So now we're going to power it off and unplug it. Then we're going to plug in the Monoprice cable. That's the next one. That's supposed to be a 4K cable too. So, oh, uh, yeah, that's supposed to be a 4K cable. Okay, the <clears throat> 4K cable is plugged in the Monoprice one. Cable test. Connect the cable. Start. All right, past 4K. 
That's what we expected, 18 gigabits per second. Nice. It failed the the, the uh, more the 8K test. All right, this is acting much more consistent so far. We'll see if it keeps going. Next up is the Amazon Basics High Speed Internet. This should also be a 4K cable. Should act similarly to the Mono Price one. All right, again we powered off, unplugged the receiver, plugged in the Amazon Basics High Speed Internet cable, which should do a four, should do 4K just like the Mono Price one. And just to reiterate, so we're, uh, one end of the cable is in the eARC output port. The other one is in port 7, which is the 8K input. All right, so we're going to do cable test, start. All right, passed. This is working great so far. And the 8K fail, which is what we expect. All right, we're three for three. Last up is the generic uh, cable I just had lying around. I'm pretty sure I'm sure this is just a 1.4 HDMI 1.4 cable. So that should pass that test, but I think it's eight gigabits per second. We'll find out. I can't remember. All right, last cable. So again, this is a generic HDMI cable I had lying around. And I, before I did the test, I powered the receiver down, unplugged it, put in the cable, plugged it back in, and turned it on. All right, passed. <laughs> it passed the eight gigabit test. Interesting. Let's do a retry just for fun. Maybe you got lucky today. All right, so I guess I have another 8K cable. I'm not going to discount that. I mean, it's certainly possible that that cable is okay, but I'm I'm skeptical. So. Uh, I think I'm going to power it off and try one more time with this cable doing from a power startup. All right, so I powered down, unplugged. I, I plugged the generic cable back in. I, I reversed the connections this time just to make something different. So again, I don't think I was perfectly clear. You push the back, hold the back button and the up arrow. And best, you're best off pressing the silver area because it's easier to get it to work every time. Push those simultaneously. Hold it for three seconds. And it goes into HDMI diagnostics mode. So that's two hardware check. All right, we'll go down to the cable test. See what happens. Okay, well, that generic cable is an 8K cable. So one anomalous result, but uh, the other ones were as expected, so I think I'm going to leave it at that. Actually, I'm going to go back and test the uh, Zest kit one more time, just to satisfy myself that it, that one's working. Okay, one last try on the Zest kit 8K. This should work. All right, it passed very quickly. That means it passed the 8K test, yeah. So I got a good cable. Again, this is not a certified cable, so maybe I got lucky. There's been good uh, reviews on Amazon for the Zest kit, and so I'm happy with it, obviously. Again, I'm hoping when the uh, Xbox Series X comes out in November, I'm going to have to buy another 8K cable for that. And I'm hoping by then there will be certified cables. If not, I'll probably buy another Zest kit because uh, I've had good luck with this. But maybe I'll try a different brand that also has good reviews and see if it works any better. We'll see. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Post a comment if you have any questions or ideas and I'll try to respond. That's all for now, but more videos are coming. And if you want to see them, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification icon if you don't want to miss one. This is Beta Signi signing out and keep looking up.